time. And there it goes. Hello everybody. Just trying to cover up that green, but I think it's too late by the time I figure out how to do it. <laughs> so you may have a little bit of green in my eyes. Um, but that's okay. Um, hey, what's up? Happy New Year. It's uh, January 1st, 2018. It's my day 1.234. And um, I was curious what I was up to a year ago, so I went back and watched my video I made on January 3rd, 2017, and I was wearing this headband, so I thought I would wear it in this video just for comparison, uh, just if you're curious to see same person, same headband, just different. So I'll take it out for now. Um, and since I'm not vain, but I want to cover up my bald spots, I'm going to flip my hair back. So, all right, there we go. I'm vain. What can I say? Um, so, yeah. Yeah, it was very interesting to go back and watch uh, a year ago what I was up to. And um, probably the, the biggest thing would be my weight. Um, I'm trying to remember, I had started the Omida program through my work, which is basically Weight Watchers, just through my work, and I was on it uh, in January, and I know I was around 200, no, uh, 300 and, uh, I think 300, before I transitioned, I was 360 pounds, okay? A year, 365 pounds. That was my weight, 365. And over the course of transitioning to January of last year, I had lost about 30 pounds. Um, so in January, between January and March, my weight didn't really change much, even though I was doing the Weight Watchers program. It did jack and shit for me. Uh, but it was through my work. They were paying for it. So I, I did what I did. And I was eating healthily. I just was not losing weight on the Weight Watchers or the Omida program. And despite all of the help and advice. And, you know, so when I went to see my GCS surgeon in March, I weighed 326. So between, if you looked at my weight between January and March, it didn't fluctuate too much. didn't go down. Okay, just floundered. And then... Um, so between March and this morning, I've uh, down to uh, 231 pounds, which I think is around, we'll say 97 pounds, maybe 98 pounds I've lost in the last seven or eight months. So that's pretty good. Um, when you're told you can't have GCS until you lose the weight, you will find a way. Um, so again, just looking uh, at myself, and the way I was before, I don't think I have the old glasses that I was wearing. They were a little rounder and a little thicker lens. And um, right about the time that I had started my transition, um, I was due to get my eyes checked. And I got myself a regular pair of glasses like I used to get and were guy frames. And then I got those round ones. That I was wearing a year ago in that video, and and it was something that really, unfortunately, it it it, it caused a bit of a row here at home because at the time, my ex-wife was living with me, and I was wearing girls' glasses, you know, even though I think they were more unisex, and uh, definitely when I got these, I went more with, you know, girl style, and and I could go a little more girl style, but I didn't want to overdo it, so. Um, but definitely compared to a year ago, yeah, I've, I've, I mean, my cheeks are, are, I think, gaunter, and I, I feel like I have more of a narrow, you know, if you look at the video, and again, those glasses are huge, I mean, my face is puffy, you know, and not to say I, I still have lots to work to do, and, and I don't know what I'm going to do, because I keep thinking that once I get approved for surgery, I'm going to start eating again, and that really is my hope, but now that I've seen the way I was a year ago, I don't know if I want to do that or not. Uh, hopefully there's a there's a balance between the two, you know, because right now I'm eating vegan, uh, borderline raw vegan. Um, I do love vegan chili, and that's what I eat that's cooked. But uh, So I can't say I'm a raw vegan, but, you know, I do eat a lot of vegetables and salads and whatnot that are not cooked, and it makes my digestive system work a little harder. 
And anyway, so that was where I was a year ago and didn't quite know what was going to happen. And uh, here we are a year later. And uh, yeah, I think better or worse for wear or, uh, or things have kind of worked out a little better. I definitely feel narrower. I don't feel skinny. I don't think I'll ever be skinny. I'm too big. I'm six foot tall and um, I have big bones. Um, and I don't really, I, I feel like I'm gaunt. I don't really like that look for me. So we'll see. We'll see. This is all for surgery. This is all for surgery. Um, I am losing this weight to have GCS and then we'll see kind of what happens there. Uh, the other night I, I went out with my friend Miss Sarah and, uh, hi buddy. I went out with my friend Miss Sarah and I had, um, chicken salad with a little beside of, uh, the garlic, uh, spicy garlic wing dressing that I used to get on my chicken wings. Um, you know, drizzled over the salad, and I mean, it was just awesome, you know, and I used to get that, the chicken wings, and oh man, I'd be in heaven, and then later when Pizza Hut uh, started doing the, the Wing Street, I think is their brand name, and I could get like Pizza Hut pizza for my daughter, and a couple of slices I would eat of that, and then I would dunk it in the buffalo wing sauce, oh man, mm, probably more calories uh, than I eat in a week, <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, uh, but, so we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Hey buddy. So let's talk a little bit about New Year's, and um, again, I hope everyone is, is doing super. I hope in your own journey uh, that you are doing wonderful in your own journey, in your own transition. Yes, buddy. I see you. You want to see this cat? Ugh. This cat is my oldest cat, and I love you, but you make a lot of noise. This is my oldest cat, Buddy Kitty. Buddy's a girl, but I called him a boy. Probably led to some gender dysphoria, but Buddy's wonderful. Buddy was uh, has been my friend through thick and thin, although Buddy can be a little, a little loud. Um, but I want to talk about New Year's, kind of derailed myself there. Um, got up this morning, and as I laid in bed, I might have to get rid of Buddy. Um, as I laid in bed, um, I just slowly looked at myself, what I could see from my perspective. I stuck my hand out first, and I looked at my fingers. I looked, hang on, we're going to let Buddy go. Oh, be, Papa, please bear with Yes, buddy. Okay. Okay. I'm with you, my friend. Go ahead. Enjoy. You want to go too? Okay. You want to stay? Okay. I figured you would stay. All right. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Okay. Now that we're alone, I can tell you that this video. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Oh. So this morning as I got up, and please bear with me, um, I just, under the covers, I just slowly kind of like a shoot, like a branch, I stuck my hand out, and I just looked at my fingers, and I was like, are those my fingers? You know, they're so white and, um, you know, pale, I guess would be a better word, but just the color, and I was like, yeah, that is my hand, you know. I get to wear nail polish, you know, and then I looked at my other hand, I'm like, yeah, that hand's, that's my hand too, and then I looked at my toes, and I slipped a leg out from under the covers, and you know, there was this leg that didn't have any hair on it, I had shaved it a couple of days ago, so it was this nice, smooth, female looking leg, and I was like, oh, that's my leg too, you know, and it just made me thankful, um, somewhat of, of where I'm at, and, and, it's good to appreciate where you are and be very thankful for where you are, even if you feel like you have a long way to go, which I do. And last night, as I was laying in bed reading, I, I was looking down at the, the bottom of my hair in bed, you know, as I was laying there, I'm like, that's my hair, you know? And I can remember when I, would, I was like, oh, I can't wait till I can take my hair here and touch under my chin. 
you know, and that's, that's a huge, excuse me, that's a huge milestone. Yes, I farted. Uh, that was a huge milestone um, in my transition, you know, at that point. And I think, too, my hair now has gotten long enough that it pulls down on it. I really do like it to be a little chaotic, and I can do that if I comb. If I, um, the day that I wash my hair, it, it seems to be a little more poofier, and then I can take the curling iron and put stuff in it, too. So, but again, back to the idea of New Year's, you know, so many things can happen. You know, New Year, I think sometimes we get really excited. We make resolutions, what we're going to do. And, you know, things can be, things can be different. I hope that, that you, I hope that I am, I, me and you are both open to the idea of possibility and that we don't, we don't know how things are going to go. You know, we can only try our best and uh we'll see kind of how things turn out um <clears throat> i have for myself i have 18 days until i go see the surgeon for a second consult i still have to lose 11 pounds i've been monitoring my weight i mean i, I monitor it from a week-to-week -week basis but also on a day-to-day -day basis uh on a week-to-week -week for the last two or three weeks uh consistently on sunday i weigh uh 211 pounds I mean, during the week, it may go down a little bit, but it bounces right back to that, uh, which makes me think that that might be the lowest that my body is going to handle. Uh, I will definitely continue to try. There have been some times during the week I can get it down to 228, and then I'm like, oh, I only have eight pounds to go. But I really am thinking that's kind of a trick. You know, our, you know, our bodies fluctuate. Excuse me. Do you chew gum? I know this is kind of an offshoot, but my hair is at the point now like I'll be chewing gum, and I guess I chew open mouth, and my hair will go in my mouth and get on the gum. <laughs> it's annoying, but I'm like, oh, at least I have long hair to do it, you know. Um, now I've derailed myself. Um, so I'm not sure if I'll lose that weight. But I can say that I have tried my best, and I will continue. I mean, um, I imagine I, I've increased the amount of exercise. I've cut back the intake. Uh, I will do whatever I need to do. But looking at where I was a year ago to where I am today, I mean, I have lost a lot, a lot, of, a lot of weight. And I realize I still have a lot of weight to lose. It's not done yet, but I hope to goodness that I go up there. And she gives me a surgical date. You know, you can only you can only postpone something so much. You know, something that you really want to do. And I guess I need to keep in mind there are other surgeons. Uh, Dr. Lauren Schrechter in Chicago, he'll take you at. I think all I had to weigh for him was uh, 240 something. So I'm definitely under that. You know, I could go to another doctor, but I really like. You know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, if I go see her and she says, you know, no, in fact, you have to weigh 210 pounds or something, then I'm going to be like, well, I guess I don't understand how other surgeons don't have that requirement. And I know my own limitations. And I, I guess if you won't do it, then I'm going to have to go to somewhere else. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to get angry. Like I did last year, I was I was depressed and I was not suicidal because I had come so far. But again, it's it's very very frustrating, as you might imagine. So, um, really, that's just about it. I still get dead named from my dad, um, as recently as today, which I don't understand. But you know what? Right. <laughs> um, and my um, breast disease are sore. So I am, I think, going through another growth spurt. And I only share that because I know that when we start out transitioning, I mean, we want it now. We want results now, you know, and we want instant, we want quick, you know, 
what do you want? Are you taking injections? Are you taking pills? Are you taking, you know, transdermal? We'll get off that and do this and take it rectally so it'll absorb straight into your bloodstream. And, you know, it, it's almost like some secret society, you know, to get the most out of your transition, do this, do this. And it worked for me and all the power to you, baby. Um, but, you know, I guess I share that here we are. I've got to be 20 months or something into my my transition and my breaths are still growing you know so you know I've been told it, you know it, it can take up to four years and everyone's mileage may vary so um you know it happens I guess I'm just sharing that in case you might feel like things are not going as quickly as you want and that's a perfectly acceptable reason hopefully you'll talk to your endocrinologist or your doctor and see you know if you are what your level of estrogen is as opposed to testosterone and, and adjust accordingly so that you are happy with your transition. But I can only share with you that here I am a year plus, um, like I said, about got to be at least 20 months into it. And I'm still getting development, you know. So things will change, I guess, is what I'm trying to, you know, there's a possibility of things changing. Um really that's just about it so I don't think I've forgotten anything I probably have um, but we will see what this year is a hold it's it's nice to you know uh, the the problems stay the same the people change but the problems stay the same you know you see people who are new uh, looking into are they transgender and then you have other people who are just starting their estrogen, they're just starting hormones, and you get excited for them. And, you know, someone who's in their first month or someone who's in their third, sixth month, or as, as I always harp on, the seventh month is a huge month as far as other people externally beginning to notice that something is different about you. And then, you know, people going into their ninth month, which is definitely obvious that changes are happening. Uh, are you chasing after something? Huh. I don't know. She's pretty excited. She saw something. Oh, Izzy. Oh, gosh. Um, and then, you know, people in their year, and then, you know, people who are in the graduating class before you who have left the trans community, and they're out doing their own thing, and you're like, oh, one day I want to be like them. And uh, for me, I kind of am, am looking at actually being able to have surgery this year which would be phenomenal and then hopefully I'll uh, be having some sex although I realize I'll be dilating a lot initially but I think it opens up the door hopefully for sex and maybe a relationship too if I could find Mr. Right or he could find me up oh, I gotta go